In today's video, we'll be talking about DeFi, which is decentralized finance. With Web3, decentralized finance is the new norm, and DeFi is a very important topic with Web3. All the financial transactions that are going to be happening in Web3 are going to be decentralized. So let's talk about that for some time. Earlier, we had CeFi with Web 2.0. We had CeFi, which is centralized finance. So there was a central body or an authority like a bank, which was responsible for any transactions taking place between any two individuals. So anybody wanted to send any money to anybody, uh, the banks had to be involved. Whereas with decentralized finance, what's happening is that there is no central body, just like with what's happening with Web3, everything is decentralized. It's decentralized and anybody can send money to anybody without the requirement for a uh, centralized body. Now, this centralized body concept does not just end here. This is just a bank between two people, that, but there are so many more centralized bodies across. So this could be a smaller bank, and then this bank has to then report to a bigger bank like uh, an RBI, which is a national level bank. And that bank then has to report to the IMF, which is the international level bank. So there are checks and governance at every single stage, and there's a lot of centralization. And uh, now if a bank wanted to block this user, this particular user, they could do that uh, suddenly, and this person would have no money. So uh, only the authority of this centralized body uh, exists, and if this body goes down, all the transactions uh, will become impossible, certainly. That's not the case with decentralized finance. There's no central body, so there's no single point of failure, even if uh, that you know few nodes go down, all the other nodes exist, anybody, everybody can exchange money with each other. There's nobody to black, uh, ban you or block you or blacklist you. Nothing like that happens. Everybody's equal in a decentralized finance system. Let's look at a couple more uh, diagrams. So uh, what, what happens here is, like let's say uh, if client one and client two uh, you know, want to exchange money with each other, then the banks have to be involved. Whereas with these DeFi, uh, clients who could be using a phone or a laptop, they could exchange money with each other with no problem whatsoever. So it's just basically this diagram uh, shown in a better way out here. Okay, what happens with uh, traditional finance system, which is CFI, what happens with DeFi. And here we'll get even a clearer picture. What happens is in a traditional financial system, you, when you want to send money, uh, your money exists in your own bank. And then there is another service like Visa, MasterCard, Venmo, or PayPal that gets involved. And then that service then sends the money to the bank of the receiver where the money of this receiver resides, which the bank that this guy banks with. And this is the entire process that it happens. Now, like I said, these are just local banks and then there are national banks and the government, uh, then the governments get involved and then there's the uh, international bank. So everybody has to keep a check of uh, what money is flowing where. Whereas with DeFi, everything is anonymous, everything is between you, the sender, and the receiver. There is no governments, no banks, no uh, services like Visa, MasterCard, Venmo, PayPal. Nobody's getting involved, right? So your money just goes to the receiver. And all of this is happening on the blockchain, as you can see. So this is DeFi. Now we'll be talking about DeFi and DeFi 2 later on also, but this was the main concept here, that uh, the main concept being you could just send money from one wallet to another without the requirement of any uh, centralized authority or a body uh, which will govern all these transactions. And also nobody has the entire power, nobody can b b ban you and block you, so you've understood that already. Now, um, there's something called a CDFI, which is Centralized Decentralized Finance and, and DeFi 2, which we'll be talking about after a while. Uh, that'll get too advanced, but in this video, I just want to tell you uh, what is DeFi and how it exactly works. I hope you found some value here. I hope you liked this. And I will now see you in the next video. And subscribe if you haven't already.